How's it going? This is Hoyman and today we're taking a look at SH Figure Arts Decker Pink figure. So this is a web exclusive figure, but you still get the window to see the figure inside and that extends to the top and also the one side. On the other side you have a nice picture of the figure with the character's name. You have some legal stuff for the bottom. And on the back you just have a few pictures of the figure. To open the box just lift open the side flap. And then you remove the front cover. And there's the figure all together with her accessories. So first you do get some instructions showing what the figure comes with and how to operate the accessories. So here's the actual figure and as expected from figure arts the sculpt on this figure is really accurate to the actual character. Looks just like the character. And overall if you already have the Decca yellow figure this is pretty much the exact same sculpt with minor differences. So the main differences is with the helmet and also the torso. But looking at the helmet, I feel that they've definitely captured the lightness of the character really well. And it has a really nice glossy pink finish. And then the visor itself is a nice glossy black. Same with the police logo on the forehead. Whereas the silver is a nice silver finish and that extends around the whole head. Looks really nice. The sides of the ears are actually translucent red parts. So it's a really nice effect. Down to torso, very simple sculpt, but you do have the SPD logo here, it's nicely sculpted, as well as the police logo on her arm as well, and that's nicely painted on. And then you have the number five pattern here, which is actually sculpted on, and that goes around the torso. And then the arms themselves have a nice matte finish, whereas the pink is a nice matte finish. And then the wrist parts here actually have a nice silver metallic finish. And then the hands themselves are really well sculpted as well. Moving down to the belt, the SPD logo is sculpted very nice and clean. And again, it has a nice silver finish for the belt. And then moving down to the legs, you can see there's some folds to really bring out the uniform and sculpt. Nice attention to detail. And then the creases continue onto the boots as well. Makes them look pretty realistic. And of course you have the silver parts around the shins. And then the boots themselves are well sculpted and detailed as well. So for articulation, the neck is on a double board joint. But the bottom joint here doesn't really move that much. So you're mainly going to get most of the movement from the top joint. So she can only look down about that much, not really a whole lot. Look up that much. To lean her head side to side as well as twist. The shoulders are on a board joint that's connected deep into the torso. And then there's this separate piece for the shoulder that cuts around the joint. So you get a lot of movement like so. And then it's also on a hinge. So you can bring your arm out to the side. Bring her arm forward as well as back. She has the bicep swivel and then double jointed elbows and then ball jointed wrists. For the torso, with the way it's sculpted, it's quite limited, but it's still on a double ball joint. So she can lean forward about that much and then lean back that much, lean side to side as well as twist. And then for the hips, they're on ball joints, but they also have the pull down method. So she can kick all the way out to the side like so. Kick about that high forward. That far back. And then she does have the thigh swivel as well. And then double jointed knees. And then finally ball jointed ankle. So you can go back that much. Forward that much. Lean side to side as well as twist. And then she's got the toe hinge as well.
So because of the simple design, Figure Arts manages to have a lot of range of motion in pretty much all the joints. The only parts that are limited is around the neck and torso, but other than that, you should be able to get most of the poses that you'd want. But well, that's the figure. Let's take a look at the accessories. So for hands, she comes with a pair of fists, a pair of hands to hold her weapon, a pair of hands to hold her gun, two open palmed hands, two more open palmed hands, but there's hands holding some weapons, and then two posing styled hands. She comes with the three attachments for her belt. So each part just plugs into the holes on her belt so they can hold her weapons. She comes with the SPD morpher, really well sculpted and detailed. And then it can also open up as well. But there isn't any detail inside though. She comes with a baton, really well sculpted and detailed. And then she comes with the same weapon but extended. She also comes with a gun, again, well sculpted and detailed. And then she also comes with both weapons combined. She comes with another gun. And finally, she comes with a pair of cuffs. So overall, I think this is overall a really solid looking figure. Definitely captures the likeness of the character really well. She has good range of articulation and a good range of accessories as well. But I will say I do have some gripes with the figure. So most notably is that there seems to be a bit of a speck on her forearm here. I can't tell if that's a paint transfer or just missing the pink paint entirely. So it is a bit distracting, but it shouldn't be too difficult to fix. And then more minor gripes I have with the figure is all the seam lines. So you can see the seam line that runs down her leg. Uh, her arm, sorry, here. And then all the seam lines that run down the torso and then down the legs like so as well. So they are very off-putting and because it's on a bright pink color, they are quite noticeable. But I guess overall, it couldn't really be helped when they were d designing the figure. But other than those gripes, if you're a fan of the series or if you're aiming to collect the entire Decker Ranger figure arts line, then I can still recommend this figure. She is a web exclusive figure and she's quite an older figure now. So the price for her can be quite expensive depending on where you look. But if you find her for a decent price, then I highly recommend getting her. But that's my review. Thank you for watching and enjoy some pictures. Thank you.